Hangout Radio backstage live at the Hangout on broadcasting on 92 Zoo. That's new music from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And a uh, great track there. It's called Dark Necessities. The album's called The Getaway. It'll be out in June. I'm Gene Merle, and I'll be here with you for a while. And with me for a while is uh, two members from Group Love. And we've got uh, Andrew and Ryan. Ryan. Ryan, I said it right. And Ryan's mom's on the phone. Say hi, Mom. That's awesome. <laughs> Where does your mom live? She well, she w we live in Los Angeles, but she's from South Africa. Oh, okay. Is that where you grew up? No, no. I was I, they moved there and then I was born. Okay. Yeah. Mom, say something in in Afrikaans. What does that mean? I love group love. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Love you, Mom. Ellie. Bye. <laughs> we love you. Already? Yeah, we got enough here. <laughs> Bye. I love you. Bye. That is awesome. What a mom. That is awesome. She called at the right time. Yes, she really did. Almost perfect. And uh, we were talking about moms a minute ago. And it's like my mom called me earlier today. She never calls at the right time. Yeah. Well, She's like, Mom, get ready to go on the air. You gotta oh, just gotta embrace go. it. You gotta yeah, embrace it. Absolutely. <laughs> so you guys have played Hangout before. You're playing tonight in um on the access stage of the one with the squid. Yeah. And that's at uh nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. And What's it like, what's different between this time and the last time you were here? Have you been able to sense, I mean, the festival hasn't really started yet, so it's hard. Yeah, no, la last time we, I mean, this Thursday night's sort of a special kickoff night, y right? Right. So last time I think we played around noon or, or so on, on the main, one of the main stages. And uh, I don't even know if they had the Thursday kickoff at that point still. I can't remember. But, you know, it was daytime and... And this will be at nighttime, and we that's that's the you know that that's kind of good day and night right there. Right. Yeah. We also literally physically have another human being in our group now. Uh, our singers had a child together. Oh really? Named yeah. Willa, and she's here with us. So this is one of her first. I think her first festival. Yeah. This is Willa's first festival. Yeah. Baby group love. Wow. So yeah. So you guys play a lot of festivals. Would you yeah, say? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, we kind of run the circuit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every uh, we've we've. We're about to come out with our third album, and we've been together for like six, six years now. Years, so yeah. we've kind of been playing festivals for that entire time, on and off. How did you guys all get together? How did this start for you? Crazy story. We, we met in on the Isle of Crete in Greece. Really? Yeah, six years ago. Um, really? I yeah. knew I, I knew Andrew wow. beforehand, but none of none of the rest of us knew each other. Uh, we were just kind of in this sort of artist community village that they were putting on that year, uh, that summer, and we all sort of ended up there and met each other and jammed, as they say. Yeah. We jammed out. Jammed with our instruments. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you're guitarist and vocalist, Andrew? I don't sing all that much, but I, I play guitar, yeah. I, and you're the drummer, Ryan? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And when you guys first started coming together with your sound, was there a deciding factor where, or a moment where you guys went, oh, wow, this works? No, it was all accidental, actually. Yeah, we, you know, we met and then didn't uh, had a great time together out in, in Crete, and then we met and uh, stayed in touch. And then about a year later, um, the other three who didn't live in L.A., there's some in New York, one in London, one in uh, San Francisco, they all came out to L.A. and visited. And then that was the first time we started actually recording music. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of like, you know, hunkered down in, in the parents' garage and... Uh, Your mom? Yep. <laughs> and used a bunch of hand-me-down uh, recording equipment and, and made some, you know, put some stuff down. And I think that was the moment where we were listening back at one point and it, it all just kind of happened very naturally. And we also were just doing it for fun. We weren't really thinking to ourselves, oh, this is going to be a band now. Right. And then, and then that's, you know, that's always the kind of irony of the whole thing. Who came up with the name? Uh, is it... Hannah? I think it might have been Hannah. Yeah. yeah. Our fearless leader. Yeah, we yeah, she when we were in Greece, we'd just be like, we're the group. Everyone would like, we make our, made our little group. Mm -hmm. We were like a group within the group, uh, you amongst know, amongst all, all, the all these other people. people. So whenever we see each other, we'd be like, yeah, group, groups back together. Yeah. And then when we would stay in touch and email, we'd always say group love, like, you know, and instead of love, Ryan, a group love. And that's how it came that's about. That's it. Yeah. Wow. Now Hannah's also an artist. Yeah, did amazing she painter. Incredible. Yeah. Did she do the first album cover? She She's does all the art. Yeah, all the merch. She does. She kind of just takes takes care of all that for us. It's great. Wow. Now your second album, which came out in thirteen, was spreading rumors. Now you have a new one coming out. Yeah. Uh, so we we just finished that up uh, last month, and uh, yeah, coming out in the fall. 
Awesome. What's yeah. the title of the movie? Do you know yet? Well, it's gone through three different titles so uh. far, uh, so I almost don't want to say yet because oh no, it is. Do we? Can we say yet? I don't know. Keep the mystery for now. Just a big question mark. Big yeah. question mark. Oh, let's just. I think we can say we can say it. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. It's called Big Mess. Big Mess. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. That's a good title. Yeah. Now, I know that for your last uh, album, you wanted to capture what you guys were capturing on stage because your live performances are real special, and you tried to convey that into the studio. Did that work? Were you able to achieve that? And yeah, are you I still think trying so, to do yeah. that? We, we, yeah, we did, we did this album in a, in a little bit of a unique way. We sort of split it up and did it in different studios um, uh, you know, rather than what we did before, which was just kind of bury ourselves for two months in, in one room and... Mm -hmm and see what we come out with so i think um yeah i think we experimented more on this one i think definitely the, the live sound is captured um i think from the second the, the last record on we s sort of paid more attention to that and it's kind of just inherent now in, in the way we do it when we when we record the stuff together do you guys all still live together in the same house no, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> how long God. did that last <laughs> well the only reason why we're still a band right now is that yeah. we don't live in the same house probably <laughs> Um, shoot, I don't know. Uh, that How long has it been? Yeah, well, it's, it was like a couple of years, the first couple of years. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And that's, you know, living together, I mean, there's an energy about that. And also, did I don't know, just because you get up, I mean, you're living the album as well while you're recording it. Yeah. Did you guys, like, name the house or anything? Did you have, like, was it the group house? I mean, we definitely, yeah, we, we all, the last record, we lived, like, w together as well. Yeah. Um, um, we, uh, did we give a name for the house? Oh, it was Curson. I don't know the Curson house. It was on Curson okay. Street in Hollywood. Oh, I called it the, go, the, go the, bub the go Sex Shack. The oh, sex yeah. Shack? Yeah, yeah totally. that's how I knew it. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> I don't know why what you called it. But <laughs> no, it was it was crazy, though. We definitely moments of wanting to kill each other and all that. So well, it's, it's a cool. family. <laughs> What's that? It's a family. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's it's. but I think Andrew that's doesn't like pranks very much. Yeah, Ryan, they took all my stuff once, and they, they took everything I own and, what, put it on my bed? No, we we'll no, he took everything out of his closet, all his clothes, put it all over his bed. Um, he didn't like that. And then the next morning, th we had, like, I don't know, it, you know those really heavy crates that you put storage stuff in when you're yeah. moving? We There's, like, plastic storage things that you can stack on each other. Right. We put about eight of those in front of his door so he couldn't open it. Uh, in the morning, <laughs> and, and, he, and he had all his clothes on his bed. Man, we were crazy. That's why they call it the sex shack. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. I, I remember working at a summer camp once, and they took everything in the guy's room, and they kind of like did the meatballs, yeah. and put it on the ceiling in the rafters. Love that. So he walked in, and there was nothing on the floor. That's commitment when you get stuff on the ceiling. Absolutely. Yeah. The one thing we did, actually, if anyone is living that. in that house, <laughs> is we, uh, if anyone's still there, we took all the art and drew art behind the art like behind the paintings in the house and i don't think the owner to this day knows we took down every painting in the house and like drew our own things behind him really yeah so whoever's there now in Curson, i don't know what the address is but Curson <laughs> harris <laughs> aka <laughs> sex shack <laughs> if you are there there is uh yeah unwelcome art on the back of all the art original artwork original artwork yeah from group love yeah that's cool yeah yeah and tonight, you guys playing over on the Access stage, 9 o'clock. Group Love going to be taking the stage. It is going to be an awesome night. Guys, thank you so thank much you. for being a part Our of pleasure. this. Thanks for thank having you for team. coming. Yeah. Have an awesome time at Hangout. Are you going to be able to hang out for a couple days? Or Definitely. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm staying the whole weekend. Uh, oh, we cool. got to rent a spot down on West Beach Boulevard. Yeah. It's That's going to be good. You guys come by the studio anytime you want. Hell yeah. If we got somebody else on, you can interview them. All right. It's pretty laid like back. That. Is that how good we are? Absolutely. Oh. Yeah. Especially if you have your the mom. interview. Oh, should I call her back to say go goodbye? Uh, absolutely. Right. Can, can we get her back yeah, on the phone can, real we quick? Can get She'll answer my call, I think. <laughs> and while we do that, what's the best part and the worst part about playing festivals for you? The best part? Um, normally, you get to see a million friends, and also <laughs> you, uh, yeah, it's, I don't know. The atmosphere is something that, you know, it's like a wonderful experience that brings, it's just like a show is so concentrated. It's about you, and it's mm -hmm. about like, that moment, but when a festival is such a larger picture and to see 20 bands in one day or come across 20 friends that you haven't seen in years and all that, so. More Almost people like on drugs at festivals. Yeah. I'm so not going to say hear. anything. That's yeah. what I hear. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. They uh, never let me off the bus, though. Mom, <laughs> we're just finishing the interview. Can you say goodbye? Yeah. M must I say goodbye to you or everybody? <laughs> everybody, everybody in Gulf Shores. And everybody the world? Everybody in Gulf Shores. And the world. Ever. <laughs> ever. Ever. 
She needs to be on the payroll. All right. Thanks, Mom. I love you. Love bye. you. Bye. It's actually in the mail, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> You guys, thank you thank so much you for coming by Hangout Radio. We're going to play some group love right now, and then I'm going to turn it over to Mystic Marge, who's back in Mobile at the studio. We'll be back on the air with Hangout Radio tomorrow morning uh, with Tim and Leanne at 6. And until then, you guys have a great night. We'll see you at the kickoff party. Go see group love. Oh, one thing I wanted to hit up is that uh, you guys used to do a cover of Beyonce song. Yeah. yeah. You know, Kim, Matt and Kim, was just going on and on about how much she loves Beyonce. She, she can I mean, make Kim, her world. Kim's tonight. like a, I feel like, like all about the twerk and Absolutely. how good Beyonce can, and Matt's all about it, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. I love those guys. They're awesome. She's and into then it. She really is, and yeah. she just kept going, yeah, I listen to Beyonce or I listen to myself when she's driving in the car. <laughs> yeah, <so>. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it is Hangout Radio, powered by 92Zoo. This is group.